Hey guys, I have something really cool to show you, okay? So let's enter our basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So right here on the table, we have the latest Chronosaurus, Stegosaurus, Indoraptor, which is the track and attack, and of course the Dino Tracker, Sino Tyrannus, okay? So all of these are actually the brand new Dino Tracker's figures. And today, I have a new figure to show you guys, okay? It's right here. I can't wait to show you. This is the all new Dino Tracker's Wild Raw Diablo Ceratops, okay? So today, our mission is to unbox this, reveal it, take a look at our entire collection of Ceratops shins from Mattel as well as other brands, which is, you know, an example collective figures okay we have plenty of ceratops shins there's also a diablo ceratops right here okay so let's get started hey guys so yes today we are going to reveal and unbox the diablo ceratops which is looking very very awesome okay it's right here on the table so we're gonna be unboxing it and then i'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of the ceratops shins. so let's start right now all right guys so let's take a look at the latest wow raw diablo ceratops let's open this package up i think we need a pair of scissors to cut this tape loose i'm super excited because i've been waiting for this figure for like the longest time so let's get this out from the pack wow it's looking pretty awesome guys okay so jurassic world logo right here as you guys can see it doesn't have the jurassic world dominion logo he has blue and beta right here dino trackers wow raw diablo ceratops the very first diablo ceratops in the entire jurassic park line let's take a look at the back levers of aggression so there are three different levers of aggression right here okay which is super super awesome at the back you'll be able to find the three brand new wild raws we have the chronosaurus right here already we are still looking forward to um this too which i don't really know the names of it we'll only know the names when we've got receive it okay all right so let's open this up right now Okay guys, time to get this bad boy out of the box. So let's cut the strings loose. I don't think um, the legs are stuck to the bottom of the box, which is awesome. Wow, I can already hear it raw. And of course the tail is kept right here. So we have to remove this. We have to destroy the box. We have no choice but to do this. So let me just open this. It's quite hard. So I mean, if you are like a very, very small kid, you'll probably need like you know adult supervision so you guys can see i'm even struggling myself to open this it's, and it's quite sharp right here so you have to be like really really careful oh here's the tail pretty awesome so let's get this out you can see the tail is looking very nice nicely detailed so it's time for us to pop the tail right in is there like a direction that we have to pop in i don't think so because i think you are able to rotate the tail so it should be fine just push it right in and it snaps and um it's ready to, ready to go and it's looking very very nice okay wow i think this diablo ceratops is looking huge but i think the panther ceratops is actually still bigger than this so let's have a look at this all right so let's start off with the head sculpt wow it's looking very awesome guys plenty of details you can see every single skill is nicely crafted and it's this really nice paint book around the eyes as well extremely intricate you can even find some fine lines across the horns which is looking very very cool so the panther ceratops i think has like five horns but the Diab diablo ceratops i think has many more one two three four and two force horns right here so a total of six so let's try this okay um, you're able to move the front legs up and down you're able to rotate it the hind legs can move sideways you can rotate them as well 360 degrees i think which is pretty awesome of course it comes with a battery compartment right here um of course the drawer you guys will want to scan this in your effects app so pause the video scan this in your effects app to have this added to your collection 
fantastic addition, I would say, for sure. Okay, so there are three notches right at the top. So let's see what does the first notch does. Okay, first let's tilt this to the um, left. Okay, basically when you move the switch to the left, the head will actually tilt to the right. So in the opposite direction, let's try the other way around. Okay, that's pretty cool. Is there another button? I don't think so. So there's basically just, you know, articulation and playability when it comes to the head. But I'll say that this figure is looking very, very nice. I really love the color combination. It has like a maroon shade of brown on top, you know, below it has more like a cream colored kind of like you know brownish tone very nicely done but of course i would prefer the toe claws to be painted but overall i think this is looking fantastic oh my goodness i actually miss out this little tiny horn right here which means that this ceratops shirt actually has like two four six and seven horns okay looking very nice i'm gonna take a look at some facts about the diablo ceratops Okay guys, I'm back with my Jurassic World Facts app, so let's tap on the scan function. Of course, let's get the code out, hopefully you guys have already scanned this, so let's do this together, okay? So I'm gonna zoom in. It's easy to scan it if you put it against a white background. Okay, wow, it's looking awesome guys, okay? So there are two buttons right here which I don't know what they are for, so let's try this. Rescue and release mission. You can go to the rescue lab and help care for the dinosaur. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's try this. Hmm. Wow, how do we play? Wow, you can actually zoom in, I think. Pretty cool, you can rotate it around. You can tap on this to see. Okay, so what are, what are this? Seems to be some slime. So I think you have to clean it up. Okay, so it's basically like, you know, this dinosaur is like dirty and you have to clean it up. Okay, let's try again. So what about this one? I think he's hungry. So you have to fit, um, fit it with like, vegetables I guess I mean you, you can't feed you can't feed it with um, meat because it is a herbivore okay it's kind of cool very cool I would say let's try to rotate this around and what is this okay seems like there is some injury you can clean it I guess you have to use this you have to spray it very very nice there's one more right here Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I, I like it. I, I like it. This is just one. Okay, it seems like there are some shards, like you know, some glass shards right in his body. So you have to use like a tweezer to like, you know, pick them up, I think. Pick them up. Okay, so one is done. Wow, okay, so seems like we are almost done. Okay, so we have to like re reintroduce this Diablo Ceratops to its natural environment. So it's definitely not at a desert. Mountains perhaps? Sure, um, I would say maybe the jungle? No? Okay, it's definitely no. Desert is definitely- Desert? I didn't know that guys. I really have no idea that, um, you know, the Diablo Ceratops actually live in the desert. So let's try rescue another. Hmm, okay, maybe we can do this like next time because I, I know that you guys will want to get back to the um, uh, dinosaur. Oh, okay, so going back to that, let's scan this again. Let's have a look at um, what other stuff we have. It's basically some facts. You can see it's a herbivore. It's discovered in um, North America weighs the weight of about four cows and this is the um, AR feature so we can do this you can um, scale it down okay rotate it let's scale it down even more all right very cool 
and this is basically like uh, you know you have to, I think you have to scan this again so it transform your environment you can see it's pretty cool are you able to like yeah you can see take a look around it basically creates like an enclosure in your own room which is very very cool okay so going back i think there are like more games to play there's another one with the vehicle i think uh, we can try this we can actually do like a gaming video guys i think it's gonna be really fun next time yeah perhaps we can do like a gaming video of this the connection in this room is pretty bad so let's just leave this um to um, a later part of the game but you know the game has loaded right now so let's see yeah we can actually try this game maybe sometime later but let's let me just try it for a while Ooh! oh my goodness I, i'm pretty bad at driving we can actually reverse yeah reverse it oh no it's, it's not easy guys i'm pretty bad at this as you guys can see <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Let's not play with this. We can do this gaming video on our other channel more than, okay? So, seems like now we have taken a look at the Diablo Zeratops. Let's have a quick look at other Dino Trackers, okay? So, this is the other WoW Raw that we have just, you know, added to our collection. This is basically the Chronosaurus, which is known as the Lizard of Chronos. Very, very cool. So this is like another prehistoric marine reptile added to our collection. But my most favorite one is actually this. This is the one that I really like, the track and attack of Indoraptor. So you can see this one is really, really awesome. It comes with this tracking gear, you can put it on. And when you press it, the eyes will actually light up. And I really love the shine and this glow that it has on its body. It's looking very, very awesome, okay? So it only has one button right here. There's another, um, you know, drawer of the code for you guys to scan. So, track and attack Indoraptor. I love this figure. Although the tail is kind of like short. And this is the um, Sino Tyrannus, which is a um, Tyrannosaurus. And speaking of Tyrannosaurus, we might do a collection video of Tyrannosaurus versus Spinosaurus next week. Okay, and here is the Dino Tracker, Gigantic Tracker, Stegosaurus. So um, there are two buttons right here, which I always forget. So one button swings the tail from left to right. The other one moves the tail from, you know, up and down, which is pretty awesome. So this one, two, three, four, five, five figures are basically the latest ones that you can find from you know the jurassic world line i'm pretty excited about about all of them i love all of them okay i think it's time for us to take a look at all the different start options from jurassic world and jurassic park so let's head over to level 2 jurassic world midlands all right guys let's head over to level 2 jurassic world midlands to pick up all our start options let me turn on the lights first okay so this is basically level 2 jurassic world midlands the entire collection of jurassic park and jurassic world dinosaurs are stored right here okay so what we will do right now is basically to pick up all the different set options right here you guys can see this is basically the entire lined up we also have a couple of small ones right here guys okay zuni ceratops all of them right here all of this will go into a box of course we have some from um, you know jurassic park as well so we'll take a look at them too so let's begin okay so let's clear the entire row right here first okay so let's do this right guys you can see the entire row is empty and they are all right now in the box Let's get the Protoceratops, Ineosaurus, Cosmoceratops, Zuniceratops, Styracosaurus into the box as well. Alright guys, you can see the box is almost full. But we still have a couple more Ceratops options right here. Perhaps 
we can miss out on the Triceratops, but I'm definitely getting this one. You guys know what this is. This is basically the Chasmosaurus, which is known as the opening lizard. And of course, we have the Pachy Rhinosaurus right over here. This one is a huge one. You definitely have to get it into the box. Let's also get this one. This is perhaps the best looking, perhaps the best Triceratops in the entire Jurassic Park line. Probably, probably. Alright guys, so now we have all our Ceratopsians in the box. Let's head over to Basement Down the Dungeon for us to review, okay? I'm very, very excited, okay? So let's go. Okay guys, back at the review table, all the setup options will be placed on the left and the dino trackers on the right, of course. Diablo Ceratops can be placed like on both sides, I guess. Okay, so let's take a look at every single setup option. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys like how good or how bad they are, okay? So let's begin, okay? So right here, what do we have? We have this really beautiful and huge Pantoceratops, guys, what does the name mean for a Pantoceratops? I want you guys to comment down below. Okay, so this is basically the Mega Destroyer Pantoceratops. All of them is like pretty dusty because I was like doing some renovation previously, but you can see this figure looks bigger than the Diablo Ceratops. I think the Pantoceratops is known as the Five Horned Face. Panta basically means five, I guess, so yeah. Beautiful figure, you can see one, two, three, four, five. Five um, horns, and um, let's try this. The first button triggers the rampaging action, and you can see this crown right here, this shield, it's extremely built, extremely large, I mean. And this is definitely, you know, like bigger and stronger than, um, you know, a lot of set options out there and this definitely forms a protective kind of um, armor against predators the other button basically moves the body which is pretty cool but it only moves the body in one direction to the right okay very nice figure let's place it right over here and of course it comes with this um what do you call this capture gear i guess very cool all right Next up, let's take a look at another strap option, which is the Pachy Rhinosaurus. This is not from the Jurassic World line, this is from um, the Jurassic Park line. You can see it has a logo right here, which is the Jurassic Park logo. And um, it is a battle damage, as you guys can see, it comes with this little dino damage uh, wound. And it looks very realistic, I love this figure a lot. I think. Um, this was actually designed and sculpted by one very famous paleo artist, but I can't remember the name. <laughs> yep, okay, so this is a very, very cool um, Pachyrhinosaurus. All you need to do is like you pull the right hind leg back and it will go into the rampaging action as well. Very nice little figure. Um, in terms of coloration, I think it looks amazing. Let's put this one right here. Let's try to arrange them accordingly to their height. Maybe to the size, I think the body of the Pachyrhinosaurus seems to be bigger. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the Triceratops, which is known as the Three Horned Face. This is probably, probably the best ever Triceratops figure ever produced. Um, it is from the Hammond Collection. As you guys know, the Hammond Collection is like one of the collector's kind of um, series. It's highly articulated and um, it has plenty of details and um, it is supposed to be the most movie accurate figure of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World line. Okay, let's move on and take a look at other figures. Okay, this one right here is known as the Chasmosaurus. Okay, it's still working as you guys can see here. It's very, very faint. Perhaps we need to change the batteries again, but I think we just changed it like a couple of weeks back, probably one or two months back, but this figure is like getting old. Uh, yeah, we can consider, you know, changing this again. This is a Jurassic Park Site B. Um, 1997 figure, Hasbro, very cool figure. Casosaurus, the one and only Casosaurus in the entire Jurassic Park line. And um, Casosaurus is known as the opening lizard. Let's pick up another one, which is the um, Sinoceratops. Sinoceratops was basically the Septoxian that saved Owen 
Owen Grady in Jurassic World. Was it Fallen Kingdom? No, not Fallen Kingdom. Um, yes, Fallen Kingdom, I think. Yep. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, Sonoceratops and is known as the Chinese horn face. It was a um, um, Sonoceratops discovered in China. So we have two of them. This is the green version. They actually released a um, what do you call this color? It's kind of like bluish gray. Yeah, bluish gray Sonoceratops. This was supposed to be the um, if I'm not wrong. Um, if I'm not wrong, it's actually from the Camp Cretaceous series, but of course you guys will know better than me, so correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section, okay? Next up, oh, Nasudoceratops guys, Nasudoceratops baby right here, this was actually found and um, it premiered in Jurassic World Dominion, the baby Nasudoceratops, this is basically like a little, I'll call this like the attack pack series kind of um, um, figure. One of, the, one of the lower tier figures, but it is a really, really well made figure. Okay, and speaking of Nasudo Ceratops, we do have an adult Nasudo Ceratops, and this is actually the Nasudo Ceratops from um, uh, Battle at Big Rock. So there was like this little short movie that was supposed to happen after Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and there was a scene where Nasudo Ceratops was battling. The Allosaurus. So you can see this is a very very cool figure. Yeah, love this a lot. I'm gonna put this one right at the back. Now Pseudoceratops, what does the name mean? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Let me just Google it guys. Okay, I have my my spare phone right here. So just give me a second while I search for the Pseudoceratops. It shouldn't take more than um, a couple of seconds, I guess. Oh my goodness, I'm I have no connection right now, guys. So let me pause the video. Let me show you guys a clip. Maybe let's let's take a look at some books. All right, guys. I came back with some information. Okay, so basically, Nasudo Ceratops is known as the large nose horn face. This notch, large nose is actually very similar to the um, Pachyrhinosaurus. And speaking of Pachyrhinosaurus, we do have another version which I think it's more accurate, guys. This one is basically the one and only, you know, Pecky Rhinosaurus from the Mattel. Yes, I'm using a web wipe to like sort of like clean the dinosaurs. You know, so once in a while, I do give them like a um, shower, a bath to keep them clean, as you guys can see. Yeah, and I think the, you know, they're not super dirty, just a little bit dusty. So you can see they have similarities, guys. Now, Pseudoceratops and Pecky Rhinosaurus, both of them have very very large nose you can see there's like um what do you call this like this little you know muscular kind of like nose right here yeah it's basically like some muscle mass right here um this is one of the um, very first jurassic world figures from mattel the rory ball very cool we just changed the batteries like not too long ago so it's working very well so love this a lot okay let's take a look at another um, Styracosaurus, we have a couple of them. This one was actually one of the um, later ones. Here's another one. Let me get hold of the other one, which is in the box. Just give me a second. This was the very first Nasudo, not Nasudo, guys. The very first Styracosaurus. And um, it is actually from the Savage Strike series. Let me just clean this. It feels dusty to me. Yeah, uh, I don't like the dusty feeling, so I'm just making use of the time when I'm doing this review and clean this up so that, you know, it's more productive. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, I think it's much cleaner now. So this is basically um, Savage Strike. I'm not too sure whether you guys have this in your effects app. So the code previously actually comes... Um, you know, they pasted the code at the bottom of the feet, which I think it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. And Styracosaurus, Savage Strike. So later on, they actually released uh, more different color variations. This one, if I'm not wrong, was from the Camp Cretaceous. I can't re really remember, guys. There's just so many different series, but all of them have um, the same playability, all the same functions, just with different paint scheme. Yeah, very cool figure. Love it. It's not exactly very dusty, so let's just do a quick one. Alright, very nice. Let's take a look at another function. 
Zuni Ceratops, I think is known as a Zuni horn face if I'm not wrong. If I'm not wrong, let me just quickly Google this. Zuni Ceratops. Oh my goodness, it's not connected to the internet again. I think it is fine. It is fine. Let's have a, let's have a look at this. Zuni Ceratops. Um, this is actually from one of the... Um, okay, I wouldn't say the attack packs. I can't remember. Um, uh, yeah, basically the very basic series. There's just so many names for us to remember. So Zuni Horn Face right here. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of like coloration, this coloration right here, which is kind of sad, but I think we do have another figure of it. Let me show you guys. Yeah, check this out, guys. We have the entire column of, you know, so where is this from? Wow Pack. Yes, yeah, so we still have the Zuni Ceratops in his box right here, which I'm very, very happy with. So let's get back to our review table. All right, let's head back to our video, guys. Um. Let me just try to find you guys, you know, all the different species first. We have the Ineosaurus right here, which is known as the Curved Horn Face. And um, this is actually one of our latest releases. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm not too sure. So this Zuni Ceratops is known as the Wild Pack Zuni Ceratops. What about this one? Is this like the... Um, I can't remember, so I need the help of you guys to name this. So you can basically rotate the entire head. I really love what they have done right here on um, both the hind legs. You can see there's like very cool patterns right here. And there's a lot of detailing done here as well. You can actually feel the pebble-like structure right here. Um, the scales are actually bigger at the top as compared to the scales below, which is awesome. So this is like the little details that they have done to make this um, figure much more presentable. You can see like regions right here One line and there's another line here and one down the middle, which is very very cool It looks like an actual reptile Really love how they have done it and um, they have like two beautiful Kind of color combination right here. Yeah, beautiful honey source. Hopefully they can come out with a bigger one I think that will be awesome Okay, next up Protoceratops I think it's known as the first Ceratoption or something like that. Let me just have a look. You know, we basically have two Protoceratops. They do not look like Ceratoptions. If you ask me, in my own opinion, they do look like, you know, they, look, they do look like, um, probably like closely related to the Parasaurolophers, the duck boot dinosaurs, because they do look kind of small. I think it is known as the first lizard, if I'm not wrong. Let me just do some research. All right, I finally get some um, information. So it's basically known as the first horn face because it is the ancestor of other horn dinosaurs. So it was the very, very first Ceratopsian. So it came way before Triceratops, Ceratosaurus, and the likes of other, uh, you know, Ceratopsians. Very cool. So we have two right here, and they were very, they were from the very, very first initial releases from Mattel. Okay. Protoceratops, both are from the attack packs, if I'm not wrong. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a look at um, Cosmos Ceratops, guys. This one is known as the Royal Horned Face, if I'm not wrong. Let me just, I think so. If I'm wrong, do correct me. So, this is basically from the Legacy Collection. I think this is a, a pretty cool figure, okay? Next up, we'll take a look at all the different triceratops okay this one it's basically a doer attack as you guys can see pretty nice figure okay a green one let me show you guys the very first triceratops the very first ceratopsian from mattel the roriva oh my goodness it is not working this is sad let's you know try to remove this battery cover let's replace it with some new batteries hopefully it will work hopefully okay maybe later on not in this video because this will take up a lot of time okay um let's see what else we got um after that you get plenty of other triceratops as well this one is uh, one of the um sound strike okay you basically twist the tail it will roll and you can see the scalp they are basically the same, same exact same scope with a different paint scheme and of course different functions and features right here. Okay, I think this one is quite a nice one. Okay, definitely a nice one. And here is another one which is um which has a function of the dual attack. 
and this one in terms of the color scheme it looks kind of bland i would say kind of dull of course but it has very cool playability i actually like the figures without the sounds because you don't have to constantly change the battery i think that is awesome and uh, we do have another Sinoceratops and um, this it's a what is this known as the raw attack are the ones with the buttons and this one is basically oh my goodness i have to really go and look at um all my figures let me see maybe we do have a few uh, do we have any figures right here that can remind us of the, the name of this what is this raw 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 strikers raw strikers i think yeah raw strikers so this is the one that you can press it down and it will roar and um yeah we do have age this is a sound strike triceratops um a pretty new one as well but the latest triceratops is actually this one so the latest one always have this little drawer as you guys can see okay and of course you can press the entire body down so this is the basically the latest triceratops you can get out there okay um this one as well another one Raw Strikers, I think. I think they're known as Raw Strikers. There's just so many names, guys. And our last one is actually this, which is the um, Battle Damage Triceratops. So, yep. So all of this are basically all the different Ceratopsians that you can get from the entire Jurassic World Mattel line. So I want you guys to let me know which team are you guys on. On the Dino Tracker side or the Ceratopsians, of course. The Dino Tracker site, you can see they are clearly outnumbered, okay? Alright, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was really fun unboxing like a new figure. It's always the best thing when you have new figures to unbox and re to review to show it to you guys, whether you guys like it. And um, yeah, on Thursday, hopefully, you can get the repainted Giganotosaurus up for you guys to have a look, okay? Stay tuned for the next video. Um, stay awesome and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.